Hayley, I'm really proud of the person you are, that you've become and how caring you are. I think it's incredible for the last 10 years that you've worked full time during the week but still volunteered at the British Heart Foundation on a Saturday. I found that when Andrew came into your life, he brought some calm into a rather chaotic at times life. And also, I think, as has been said today, I think you found your soulmate, all things uh, Doctor Who, or if Andrew had maybe had his way, you might have been attending a Spider-Man wedding, but as it happens, they're both obviously huge Doctor Who fans, which is why we're having such a good time today. Ladies and gents, we're getting ready to begin. There is a very beautiful bride and her dad waiting outside with their bridesmaids. This is just so out there, it's amazing. This is what everybody's wedding should look like. Have the best day. Enjoy the ceremony for everything that it is. It's very much Andrew Haley to a team. Andrew, do you bring Haley here today, freely and without pressure, and give her your lifelong blessings? That's well. Oh, sorry, sorry, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he did. I'm going to vote William. I know. I wrote William, but I said Andrew. Right? It's going to be one of them days, right? <laughs> William, do you bring Haley here today, freely and without pressure? and give her your lifelong blessings to her marriage to Andrew. I did. Are you sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Haley, to me, you are my peace, my comfort. Like the doctor in his TARDIS, you are my home, my closest friend, my love. We've seen a lot of this universe. We've seen fake gods and bad gods, demigods and would-be gods. Now, with all that, out of that whole pantheon, if I believe in one thing, just one thing, I believe in you. We've been on so many journeys together, but now we get to go on this one, which seems a lot more official for some reason. <laughs> uh, just like our adventures, I promise to love and protect you. If you're lost, I will be your compass, because honestly, you're terrible with directions. <laughs> if you're sad, I will make the stupidest joke I can think of. If the Daleks show up, I'll be the distraction. Through all of space and time, I promise to always be yours. I promise always and forever to be an idiot with a box and a screwdriver, passing through, helping out. I don't need an army, I never have, I just need you. For the first 19 years of my life, nothing ever really happened, and then I met a man called Andrew. Our first meeting was unexpected, and I still remember the only thing I got told about you was that you were a bit weird, which didn't put me off. I found out pretty quickly you were my type of weird in every way possible. From our complete obsession with a certain Time Lord to the way we look at life, your crazy matches my crazy. We've had nearly eight years of fun, madness, nerdiness, laughs and love. We've built a great life together, you, me and that ridiculous goober we call Ace. And I love it. I never thought a chance meeting in a Doctor Who meme would have brought us here to this moment today. <laughs> Through the good times and the bad times, we have always had each other. There's a lot of things you need to get across this universe. Warp drive, wormhole refractors. You know the thing you need most of all? You need a hand to hold. It's your hand I want to hold today and every day after. This year has come with its challenges, but the way I see it, Every life is a pile of good and bad things. <laughs> the good things don't always soften the bad things, but vice versa, the bad things don't necessarily spoil the good things or make them unimportant, and you definitely add to my pile of good things every day. We might not have our own TARDIS, yet. <laughs> <laughs> we will have one. <laughs> but I just know we'll have tons of adventures together. You and me across time and space, together forever. I love you so much. Remember that hate is always foolish. <laughs> love is always wise. <laughs> We're all stories in the end, so let's make ours as we can. Following the declarations made before me and in the presence of your witnesses and with the authorization of the Registrar General, it is my very pleasant duty, Haley and Andrew, to declare that you are now married. You can have a kiss.
So before I start the speech, I'll say, I'll try and keep it short because you're probably starving just like me. Okay, firstly, I'd like to thank everybody for coming along today. Um, it's nice we can always, we can finally get together to celebrate the marriage of Haley and Andrew. Um, I'd also like to take this opportunity to remember absent friends and close family members. Um, Firstly, Haley's bestie, Daniel, more affectionately known to the rest of us as Kimber, and Haley's Granny White, more affectionately known as Junie. Um, I'm sure they would have both loved today um, and been part of the happy days. So, um, could we raise a glass to absent friends? Absent friends? So, Haley. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Move it back a bit. So, for as long as I can remember, Haley's always been a bit of a daddy's girl. And to be fair, today's one of my proudest moments. I'm going to try and not greet. Um, you know, walking you down the aisle was was awesome. Um, from the day Haley was born, we've had a sort of special bond. Um, and as as Haley's grown older. I think the bond has grown stronger as well. And also, I found somebody to share my passion for cars and all things motorsport. Correct? <laughs> so, when we moved to Livingston, Haley was only three. But soon after that, I found that she had a real passion for going to Knock Hill with me. Happy days. And w for the last 20 years, we've sort of made an annual pilgrimage to the touring cars in August. Um which we call a daddy-daughter day, which normally starts at McDonald's <laughs> and, poten and, and potentially goes downhill from there. Um, and then once we get to Knock Hill, same old, same old Haley, we need to merch. We need to go and buy T-shirts or whatever else. Um, and anybody that's been to Knock Hill will know that even in August, you get four seasons in one day. And it's always a bit of an adventure. Usually the final challenge is getting my car out of a field. A muddy field normally. Um, but Haley's highlight is usually autograph hour. Where I should try and get a, an autograph or a selfie with Gordon Shedden. The other man in her life. <laughs> um, and even if she couldn't get him an autograph hour, she'd track him down and say... Dad, 
I'll be back in a minute. As, as she tracks him down and gets a wee selfie at the back of a garage or whatever else. But I think um, probably a highlight was this year, where after 20 years of going to Knock Hill, we, we managed to get onto the, uh, onto the grid. Um, and what happened, Hayley? The sky's open. <laughs> <laughs> Massive hailstones and a monsoon. So there's us thinking, there, we're with all the celebrities. And it's pissing down with rain. <laughs> anyway, Hayley, the other man in your life has sent you a wedding card. Gordon Jedden. Really? <laughs> um, <laughs> we tried for a video, but we ended up with a card. Um, Hayley, I'm really proud of the person you are, um, that you've become, and how caring you are. I think it's incredible for the last 10 years that you've worked full time during the week, but still volunteered at the British Heart Foundation on a Saturday. Um, you're very passionate about it and, uh, and getting the rest of the family to donate <laughs> where possible. You know, and you'd turn up your nose if we, if we thought about going anywhere else. But, but anyway, yes, I'm very proud of you. So I a couple of anecdotes. So, so, so once Haley had moved out, you, you get the random phone calls. Normally, something's gone wrong somewhere. Um, so she phoned me one Saturday morning to ask me why she had no water. Okay, fair enough. Have you checked with Scottish Water? Why would they do that? Because maybe they supply your water. Anyway, so I said, I then asked her if there was anything happening in the street. Well, in the back garden, there's two guys with Scottish water digging a hole. <laughs> Maybe, who knows, that might be why you have no water. Anyway, so, that wasn't the most random thing she asked that day. Her next question was, when's my water going to come back on? <laughs> you know, you know, I'll check with Mystic Meg and uh, look at my crystal ball and try and work that one out. So, that's one of them. The other one, it's a bit too recent. But we'll go there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a phone call a few weeks ago going, Dad, the car's broke down. Some lights have come on. An oil light. Oh, really? Okay. I'm in Carlisle. Oh, okay. So she'd been down visiting Cheryl, Kenny and the kids that were in Blackpool. So, unfortunately, I couldn't make it. Someone in, someone else in the room, a white knight in his white truck, <laughs> went to the rescue. Good old Uncle Ant, good old Uncle Andy. But although Haley cried for about three days afterwards, the end result is, fortunately enough, she's now driving a new car. After Uncle Andy went down and towed the old one back to Scotland. <laughs> So, yeah, we've had some random phone calls and there's been some other ones, but I decided people want to have their food. So, just a bit with Andrew. I found that when Andrew came into your life, he brought some calm into a rather chaotic at times, you know, um, life. And also, I think, as has been said today, I think you found your soulmate, you know, all things uh, Doctor Who. And maybe, you know, pushed Marvel to the side a little bit, but but I think Marvel's there. Um, or, you know, if Andrew maybe had his way, you might have been attending a Spider-Man wedding, but, you know, you know, we know that. As it happens, they're both obviously huge Doctor Who fans, which is why we're having such a good time today. Obviously, I have to mention the other member of the family, Ace, who will be sitting, no doubt, waiting for you to go home to be fed. But uh, anyway, I, I did try and keep it short. But, um, I want you to raise your glass to the bride and groom. To the bride and groom. Oh, that'll be on your dress, sorry. Um, and now I'd like to hand over to... 
Oh, that would be me. to Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that I have to look and go. Okay. Right, so, for those of you that don't know me, you'll know I don't really socialise or deal with people all that well. Um, for those of you that don't really know me, now you know why. <laughs> um, I just want to thank you all for coming. Uh, it means a lot to me and Hayley. Um, we're just so happy you could all join us today. Uh, I also want to give a special thanks to Cheryl, uh, hey, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, for your help planning the day, uh, Ellie and William, obviously, for their help and support, and also to Andy and Michelle from Razmataz uh, for help with planning and organising, keeping us right and calm, and also thanks to Johnny from JHY Photography for the amazing pictures and making us look amazing in the photos, even if I grabbed an elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Both me and Haley wanted today to be special, unique, fun, and a celebration of everything that we stand for as a couple. And I think we've managed that. Um, we hope you've all enjoyed today as much as we have. Um, so let's raise a glass to the first of many days of our married life, and in celebration of the only time these outfits will not be covered in cat hair. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I can now hand over to the best woman, Ren. This is as nerve-wracking as it actually was in my head. Uh, so, <laughs> hey everyone, uh, my name's Ren Serenity. Uh, I'm Andrew's best friend and I've been Andrew's best friend for over nine years now. I've known Hayley for just as long and well today's speech is just going to be short and sweet because I'm absolutely anxious right now. Uh, so throughout all of time and space from Trenzalor to Gallifrey. The doctor has never met anyone who isn't important. And with all my heart, I can say, I don't think I've met a couple more deserving to be together than you two. I've known Haley and Andrew for years together and separate. And when they met, I knew just then that they were meant to be together. The adventures they had visiting Cardiff and the Doctor Who exhibit, and when they bought their first house together, Together it confirmed what I already knew about them. This was always meant to be. And getting an ace, that was the final notice board mark that you two were meant to be. The day Andrew mentioned to me he was going to ask Haley to marry him, it was the final note. Just that note that I knew. You were always destined to be together. And I just want to say I feel really honoured today to be here on your special day with all these lovely people and I wish you all the best going forward. And while things may be a bit wibbly wobbly, timey wimey, it's all about the adventures that you'll be to, together to go through, through all space and time as it's meant to be. And I just want to end up by saying congratulations and all the best. <laughs>